General management of poisoning. Poisoning represents the harmful effects of toxic amounts of any substance on the body. In many cases, only mild symptoms and signs would develop. However, suspected poisoning should always be considered as a medical emergency since the situation may rapidly evolve to become critical. So many deaths due to poisoning can be prevented with early initiation of good supportive care and general um, treatment measures. The symptoms and signs of poisoning depend on the specific exposure and may be local or systemic or both. Effects may occur immediately or several hours or days um, later. And the severity depends on many factors, including the type of substance, the route of exposure from ingestion, um, inhalation, injection, demo application, among others, the dose and the duration of exposure in the patient or environmental factors. So obtaining the original container or a sample of the substance is often most helpful along with a thorough history and physical examination and laboratory analysis to look for characteristic features of poisoning with specific agents. Judicious use of antidotes for poisoning with specific substances um, may be added to general treatment measures based on these findings. Um, when a poison control center usually exists um, to support health professionals in developing um, rational and timely strategies for diagnosis and treatment of poisoning. The causes are household chemicals, pesticides, medications, toxic plants, venomous bites and stings, toxic alcohols, industri industrial chemicals. Signs, the symptoms that are usually found are nausea, vomiting, um, diarrhea, abdominal pain, difficulty in breathing, palpitations, skin rash, headache, confusion, lethargy, um, weakness. The signs that are usually elicited are abnormal vital signs, for example, pulse, temperature, and respiratory rate, small pupils, smiosis, large pupils, my dry cysts, not excessive sweating, hypersalivation, frequent urination, diarrhea, wheezing, flushed dry skin, um, dehydration, shock, low urine output, that's oligoeria, anuria or retention, abdominal tenderness, jaundice, altered mentation, tremors, seizure, coma. Investigations are blood glucose, random blood glucose, FBC, BE and creatinine, urinalysis, ECG, liver function tests, clotting time, coagulation profile. The investigation should be individualized to the exposure. Poison control center or clinical pharmacologist may advise in specific cases. The treatment objectives are provide resuscitation, provide good supportive care, prevent or limit um, absorption, enhance elimination, prevent or manage organ damage, prevent or care recurrence non-pharmacological treatment um, airway protection decontamination detain patient for um, close monitoring resuscitation when necessary gastric lavage if indicated education and counseling pharmacological treatment um, gastrointestinal decontamination acute poison ingestion or oral overdose or first line treatment they give activated charcoal powder oral in adults and children 50 gram grams initially one gram per kilogram with a maximum of 100 grams given as 50 grams per um, 500 ml slurry in water and then 20 to 50 grams every two to six hours as required and precautions so routine use is not recommended most um, effective within two to four hours of injection. Ingestion. The contraindications are any aspiration risk, for example, kerosene and coma. Also, patients at risk of gastrointestinal hemorrhage, perforation or obstruction, for example, ingestion of caustics. Let's look at um, presentation of common poisons and their antidotes. Look at the class, the toxic syndrome the antidote or antidotes and 
um, the evidence rating. So um, opioids, toxic syndrome is um, small pupils, lethargy or coma, reduced bowel sounds, respiratory depression, antidotes, um, naloxone um, for respiratory depression and evidence rating is A. Um, class benzodiazepines, um, toxic syndrome, it's lethargy or coma, respiratory depression, antidote or antidotes, so flumazenil for respiratory depression, evidence rating C. Let's look, let's look at the next class, um, organophosphates or carbamates and pesticides poisoning so that's um cholinergic agents the toxic syndrome excessive salivation um tears nausea vomiting diarrhea urination bradycardia wheezing agitation or coma seizure hypotension muscle weakness with or without fasciculation antidotes um, um atropine for bradycardia excessive salivation or wheezing and diazepam for agitation and um, seizure evidence rating a for atropine and a for diazepam the next class organo chlorine or chlorinated hydrochloride pesticides for example ddt linden um heptac law um and do so fun uh, toxic syndrome usually abrupt onset of nausea vomiting diarrhea dizziness headache paresthesia agitation hallucination seizure coma tremor cough hypertension ca cardiac dysrhythmia rash renal um with or without hepatic failure the antidotes are uh, diazepam for agitation seizure cholesteramine and acetyl cysteine if hepatomegaly avoid startling the patient or giving adrenaline salbutamol and other stimulant medications no. evidence rating for diazepam is a c for cholesterol and c for n acetyl cysteine if hepatomegaly okay so um the next class is pyrethrine and pyrethroid insecticides and the toxic syndrome burning or tingling in the mouth paresthesias um, tremors seizures coma gastrointestinal upset tachycardia hypotension diaphoresis excess salivation and hyper reflexia nantidose are diazepam for agitation seizure and symptomatic care evidence rating is a also warfarin based anticoagulants for example many rats poisonings Toxic syndrome, bruising, bleeding from gums, any other bleeding, um, headache, flanks or abdominal pain, pallor, shock, blue-green vomitus, antidotes or antidotes. Um, you give phytomenadione or phytomenadione if elevated INR. And you give fresh frozen plasma with or without whole blood transfusion if severe bleeding. Evidence rating B. The next class um, bleach, soaps, detergents, and corrosives, zases, and alkalines. And toxic syndrome, um, nausea, vomiting, oral ulcers, mouth or throat, or abdominal pain, gastrointestinal bleeding, shock, breathlessness, tachycardia. Antidotes. Uh, you keep um, NPO, nilpeo, oils, or route until pain is relieved and post proton pump inhibitor with or without H2 blockers, for example, ranitidin and antiemetic for nausea and vomiting. So avoid forced MSs, activated charcoal, and gastric lavage. Now the evidence rating is C. The next class is paracetamol. So the toxic syndrome, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, with or without tenderness, hepatic failure, coagulopathy, shock, and maybe asymptomatic too. Antidotes, um, N-acetyl cysteine, and um, antiemetics, proton pump inhibitors. Evidence written for medications are BMB. So ion, the toxic syndrome, and um, 
nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, with or without tenderness, bloody MSs, or stools, shock, and hepatic failure. The antidotes are this ferrosamine, this ferrosamine, and also antiemetics and proton pump inhibitors. The evidence rating A. Okay, so the next class is paraquate as a herbicide. So the toxic syndrome, math or truth pain with or without ulcers, breathlessness, um, hypoxia, wheezing, abdominal pain, renal failure, hepatic failure, antidotes, or no antidotes. You give um, symptomatic and supportive care, dialysis may be indicated and avoid supplemental oxygen unless patient is hypoxic or in moderate or severe respiratory distress. Okay, so let's go to the next class. There's um, toxic alcohols, um, methanol, ethylene, glycol. The toxic syndrome give um, toxic syndrome include lethargy, coma, shock, impaired vision, methanol, as for methanol and renal failure in ethylene glycol. So the antidotes are ethanol or formi, formipizole. Dialysis may be indicated. And um, the evidence written is B. So the next class is cyanide. The toxic syndrome includes headache, confusion, nausea, vomiting, breathlessness, seizure, coma, shock. The antidotes are hydroxy, cobalamin, or sodium thiosulfate, and the evidence rating is B. So refer all patients for um, specialist management if um, they do not improve with general supportive care or if they require specific antidotes.